Espera aí, mãe, vou começar aqui, conversar com o Você me ouve? Ian? Você me ouve? Sim, sim, e eu te vejo também. Estamos, Tudo bem? Sim, sim, estamos só esperando o professor chegar. Tá ótimo. Você quer apresentar ele ou você quer... Eu, eu normalmente faço uma apresentação mais informal, mas... É... E peço para eles se apresentar mais para o grupo, porque acho que eles nos contam melhor quem eles são. Não, pode, tudo bem, tá? Não se preocupa, não. Espero que... Oi, Natália, tudo bem? Que bom! Natália Pires do Inster. Que bom quando as pessoas se apresentam, porque aí fica mais interativo. <laughs> This talk is going to be in English. Okay. Um, we're just speaking in Portuguese before we start. As soon as the professor arrives, we'll speak in English, because he speaks English. Ah, he's here. Hello. 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 How, are you? How are you? How are you? Got up. Uh, yeah, in the morning. Okay. In Hong That's Kong. Early yeah. Morning. Yes. How are you, Professor? Hi, how are you? Okay. We, we're still not seeing you. Oh, really? We see a camera blocking. We see, we see the space, but not your camera. I'm not sure why. Maybe do you have it with the protection to close? No, that? I actually I don't know. It could be. I just clipped. It. it shows that you have a video. It just looks like it's. In yes, the yes. Uh, let me check with. Uh, no, I think I use my Zoom, but this is the first time I use a webinar. Uh, webinar. Uh, I don't know where. Uh, how can I? Oh, okay, how do I? Hmm? This is a... It's a new, it's a surprise for you. Yes, uh, let me, let me check if, uh, okay, let me check if my wife can help me. Okay. In terms of uh, who you are, what it, what's interesting, okay. yes, that, that would be great. And just uh, 
to, to preface. Um, we were very, very honored to have you as part of the seminar series. It's a great honor for us. Uh, we started the series to try to learn uh, and think about the implications in terms of as political scientists, as social scientists, to try to understand better. And so we've been having conversations and we really, really wanted to speak with scholars that are, have studied what has happened in, in the case of China. And it's really, mm -hmm. uh, we're so thankful that you've agreed to speak with us tonight. Tonight for us and this morning for you. Yes, great. So I, I'll speak first. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now uh, I'll give you a very brief introduction uh, of myself and uh, my research. Okay, so thank you, uh, Ian, for connecting us. Okay, I, I've been to Brazil for uh, three times, okay, very briefly, and I was supposed to be there in the summer, right, for the World International Social Sociological Association World Congress, but unfortunately it was postponed, okay, next year to next year. So I'm a sociologist, okay, by training, and uh, interestingly, now I'm teaching at Hong Kong University of Science Technology, uh, uh, and I'm working on stratification inequality, and I, I conduct a, a, a number of surveys in um, the, the household uh, longitudinal uh, study uh, in Hong Kong, and recently I expanded to Shanghai, okay, we replicated in Shanghai, and we were thinking about having something similar okay, to in, in a big city like uh, Wuhan, okay, so I was talking to Ian about uh, some comparative study, right, you know, among metropolitan or, or metropolis, right, in different countries, okay. So uh, one focus, okay, um, of my new interest is uh, is community sometimes slash neighborhood and how you know this in a very specific context right you know inequality was created in, in terms of a number of other you know outcome uh, we're interested in, okay now I actually uh, interestingly so I I I spent the fall in New York okay I spent four in New York City I was visiting um, NYU sociology uh, in New York City. So I left there in mid uh, mid December. Okay, then I I came back briefly. Okay, but I actually I have a connection with Wuhan. So you can see here I move from one now called epicenter right to another epicenter. So um, so in uh, on December last day of December December thirty. Okay, thirty. And I left in thirty first. Right, I went to Wuhan. I was invited by one of the uh, the two major uh, again also a very, very top national university, but located in Wuhan called Huazhong Central China University of Science Technology. Um, uh, uh, you may notice um, I have a I have a research center here, Center for Applied Social Economic Research, right? So they actually invite me to help them to set up. I I said I such a research center. I said oh just to use its name. So they actually set up. They said I'm going to show you. A little bit, uh, you know, background of that. So we set up uh, the center, had a, a ceremony. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, uh, so I left. Uh, when I was there, I was I heard, heard a little bit about the rumors. Right, we didn't actually pay much attention. Okay, so I did not go anywhere. I just go directly, went directly to to the university, and um, and uh, we had a ceremony, one day conference, and left in the evening. Okay, I left in the evening to from airport to Beijing. Okay, uh, but when the the uh, the viral uh, the uh, well, now it's called a pandemic, right? It's an epidemic well, broke up, and uh, we, I, I, um, I actually asked uh, two team members there. One of them was my former student. The other one, so that's the reason I got there, right? And uh, the other one was from another university who also was a postdoc visitor uh, to Hong Kong. So actually, we now we form a team. We work together. We have a a, a, a survey. Uh, uh, obviously, at that point uh, during the lockdown, okay. After a while, I thought we should uh, we should uh, take advantage of the opportunities, right? So we we initiated this kind of now actually making us a closer, right? So otherwise, possible we don't know how to use Zoom. So we actually set up a meeting and we design a, a survey. Obviously, survey cannot be, it's not possible to conduct face-to-face, -face, right? But we use, um, 
use uh, um, uh, what well, called a WeChat, uh, the, the most popular, uh, um, uh, you know, social media, right? So we have a e uh, questionnaires, right? But uh, you know, um, we actually train interviewers. Okay, we ask the students to uh, to uh, recruit. Uh, uh, well, it's not a random sampling, right? But recruit based on some. You know, you need to diversify. You need to be in Wuhan, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, and we we did the training, okay. We did the training for students, and the students actually contact them, sort of more like a face to face, right? But not not really physically face to face. So we con we finished the survey, okay. The survey um, was conducted between I think after one hour of lockdown because we really need to design and a lot. I need to find some some funding, right? And uh, also, we need to train, recruit uh, interviewers, right? So we finished uh, a survey. Uh, you no, know, this is is questionnaire survey, uh, and uh, again with a focus, right? This is most on um, uh, community governance, right? How during the people's uh, you know Wuhan because it's a very very radical uh, lockdown, uh, and uh, most people basically the you know the majority of people post the were placed on house arrest, sort of like that. You're not allowed to leave your home door, okay? So unless, so uh, later I will talk. So so my talk today, right, were primarily based on, okay, based on uh, some of the very preliminary findings. Uh, yesterday, in order to prepare for this, right, ask other team member to give us, you know, give me a brief, uh, you know, in, uh, sort of a preliminary description of data. I haven't got time to look at the data. And I just realized that nothing there, so I, I decided to did, you know, just have it later by myself, right? Because people don't know what I want to talk about, right? So, um, so shall I share uh, some of the uh, slides to you? Yes, please. Okay. And I'll, right. I'll remove us from the, from the projection. I'll take our cameras off. We're still here, but we'll just take our cameras off so we can enjoy more what you're can saying. You, can, you, can you see this? Yes, we can. Okay, now, so actually, uh, Lorena, you gave me a, talk, a title called Understanding COVID-19 Pandemic Insights from uh, the Wuhan Experience, right? Uh, indeed, I'm not from Wuhan, no, I'm in Hong Kong, right? Um, uh, but I, in my introduction, you see, actually, I'm, I'm sort of associated with Wuhan. Actually, uh, I, 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 you know, from time to time, we talked right, through the Zoom. We do have a team there. Okay, I have a colleagues who, who they are now. We actually launched a a qualitative ethnographic study. We actually picked up uh, six uh, communities. We'll do very intensive interviews. Okay, so everybody, not everybody, every agent, all kinds of agents, right, uh, will be interviewed. Uh, we'll pick up a picture in how the community. We are dealing with uh, we're dealing with the, the crisis now it's crisis over okay of course now so Wuhan um, now very brief okay because I only have 40 minutes I will leave more and uh, 20 minutes right so I'll leave questions for uh, for you know Q&A discussion so Wuhan is a uh, Wuhan uh, Wuhan is a capital for some of you right who don't know uh, Chinese uh, China's geography Wuhan is a capital uh, it is indeed called uh, it once, okay, or always, there is no name called uh, Eastern Chicago, okay, because of a strategic geographic location. It's, a, it's one of the major metropolitan uh, city in China, in central China here, right? This is Hubei province, okay? So it's, it's really hard at the center because of the geographic location. It's that actually it's a, it's a convenient, it's a, it's, a, it's a gateway to like nine provinces, right? So it's a, a transportation hub, okay? So Wuhan, Wuhan is the epicenter, Hubei, right? So all China's cases, majority of the cases that were happening in Hubei because, simply because Chinese government, uh, when the, the epidemic broke out, they, they locked down, right? The whole province, okay? So you were not allowed, and in particular in Wuhan, and Wuhan, well, the population, right? Uh, the, uh, account, you know, more than, yes, 11 million, okay? Which is, again, is very, very large, right? Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Then Hubei, right? So you can see in China, Chinese case, right? China's case, there's eight thousand three hundred, no, eighty eight eight point three something thousand, right? But the, the total Hubei account for uh, more than more than eighty percent of the cases, and uh, the other 
uh, regions are really are connected to the Hubei, okay, connected to Hubei because of the, you know, the spread, right, geographic uh, spread. So the, um, the um, and uh, Wuhan is, uh, Wuhan, that's five, 50,000, 50,000, 50, 50, so that's, uh, and the word now, right, so it's keep updating, okay. So really, it happens. No, my personal story is that I was about because this is just uh, in the eve of Chinese New Year. I was about to <clears throat> to take a plane, okay, to 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 fly back to my hometown, okay, and a uh, province near Shanghai, right? So we already would book the ticket, all the things. But I, I saw just the one, uh, you know, media paper, right? It was again so because of an expert epidemiologist visited the Wuhan, so he came back to Hong Kong. He he, he wrote an article said that even worse, he just could not imagine, you know, it's, he could not imagine, it's terrible, something like that, right? But he could not get any correct information. Okay, all right, so, so we decided to cancel, okay, so cancel the, uh, you know, the, uh, the flight, again, stay, right, and so on. But then it seems like uh, we actually made a, a very, very um, uh, wise decision, my, my family. And uh, even now, our colleagues and students were not, you know, some of them still are stuck in China. They will not be able to come back to Hong Kong. But anyhow, so you can see here, well, it's really when I, uh, when we started our survey, right, when we started actually, not a plan, when we started our survey, things are actually, uh, it seems to be already stable. And, uh, and uh, the, this, uh, this uh, recovery cases, right, actually increase and, uh, you know, this is a recovery case, it's a total infected cases, okay. All right, now, so Wuhan, right, Wuhan lockdown, okay, lockdown since January, um, uh, January 21st, right, so this total, okay, 70, 76 days, 76 total lockdown. This lockdown is different from the suggestion you will see in Europe and in, 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 in US, right, it was called social distancing, right, we use this term. This lockdown is completely, completely, you know, as I, I put this house arrest, right? Is that uh, you're not allowed to leave your door, mm -hmm. open your door, okay? So that's really something that's not possible, right? In in other societies, okay? So that's why people say, why, you know, the why US, you know, Italy, Spain cannot do, cannot copy uh, this homework, right, from China, right? Is that people say not possible. Again, because of political structure, right? Uh, I understand the seminars for uh, in, in, in poli science, right? Now you can say New York right now, that's another epicenter, why is it horrible? Okay, when we, I was receiving the email from my colleagues in, Wuhan, in, in, in New York City, right? And uh, we were talking about Wuhan, but suddenly, okay, New York become a, uh, become a, a, a epicenter here, right? So, so Chinese, also the death case, right? It's, it's just uh, very few, okay, very few because of the effective lockdown. So there are kind of, now, if you look at, I just yesterday I saw this, right? The China, okay, obviously Israel, this Germany, right? Uh, South Korea, but China again is one of the top country now, it's called safety, okay, uh, safety ranking, right? But I was trying to find Brazil, I couldn't find, okay? Well, it's, uh, well, it's, it's just unknown, okay, unknown. I, I would not say it's the worst, right? Now, because here, right, it's, a, it's not a safety, right? But then, you will see here the China model be copied. I, I checked here is at here the treatment cases. Uh, well, there's another one. I, I think I, I forgot is risk, right? For risk, I still, I could not high risk uh, countries. I still could not find uh, Brazil in the list, right? That means uh, we probably don't have much information about it. Uh, but anyhow, so can China model be copied, right? So that's a really an issue uh, of, of governance. So that's, I think, uh, my talk, right? Uh, I will give you, show you some of the, uh, you know, uh, very pre preliminary uh, descriptive. I haven't got time uh, to do a more rigorous analysis. I'll give you some figures, okay? Some questions and for discussion. I'll, I did have some, uh, some um, <clears throat> information or some, some tabulation, I did not put it here, but I had an impression, I did know the results, so I can, I can share with you, okay? Now here, so that's uh, uh, you know, what I just said, right? We have this center, okay? So really, uh, you know, we expect that we're gonna do something, mostly before I wish I could do something on like child development and the neighborhood communities, right? And the child development, we plan to do a, start an early childhood project and the people in the center, this is the vice president uh, of the university, right, came here, uh, actually um, 
so we did have a formal center. That's a uh, no faculty line, but no resources. But just so we can use that as a, as a way we uh, for our research platform. So the survey, okay, we we did. This is called a survey on community and social life during Wuhan's lockdown. Okay, lockdown. Uh, although the worst time have gone, but uh, I think what we did is that those people who you have to be in Wuhan, okay, so you were locked down, okay, 100% of being in Wuhan. If uh, some people, if it is said, right, the 5 million people actually left during the, before the, uh, before Chinese New Year, uh, that may actually worsen the spread of the, uh, the, the coronavirus, right, but uh, we restrict those people who are, who are locked and who could not live there, okay. Codal sampling, okay, so we ask a student, we recruit most of the students at home, right, we actually ask them to recruit and diversify. So each household, you only need to recruit one person, right? And uh, diversify age and uh, and uh, the socioeconomic status, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? And the interview here is just like normal but virtual, okay? Just like we talk, right? You're sitting, you know, in, in, in front of me, and then uh, well, the questionnaires are taking about, you know, ten. Uh, I think it's uh, about ten minutes, okay? Can not, but most people stay at home, okay? So it's a easier one. And uh, then we actually seek their consent. So when they finish the interview, right, please send us to make sure, right, send us because we use a mobile phone to conduct an interview, send us where you are. So where is it? Most of the people are at home, right? So therefore we can know their address, okay? They're, they're, they're not, a, you know, the, uh, they actually we can match them to the communities, okay? But we have asked ask a lot of questions about the community, okay? community. So the, the, this is, a, this takes, a, you know, um, this is about two weeks, okay? In two weeks, okay, we completed 4,234. This is all valid, complete, complete cases, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you something described. First of all, is that whether the, it is representative, okay, of, of the population. We actually did some weighting and we'll see this is gender, right? So slightly more female than fe males, right? Simply, I think it, because of the, this hasn't been weighted, right? And also, you know, typically it would be female, younger generations, you know, highly educated people, they're more like, because they're more likely to have access to WeChat, right? And they know how to use it, right? So, so but anyway, there are some biases, but, but again, after waiting, right, it's, it seems like a more diverse, the demographic profile. And uh, here, so, so we do have here the general population, right? We, I, we found here is that older people tend to be old, you know, underrepresented because simply because they could not don't know how to use mobile phone, okay? So that really from our, our, our uh, discussion or uh, interview with the people, right? Uh, uh, during the ethnographic study, we realized that you know, a lot of problems caused by you know, the young, the older people, right? They, they encounter difficulties during this lockdown. Okay, they, there's no way for them to help if you have, a, you have a mobile phone, you can connect to your friends, right? And your social network easily. Uh, so, so I'm gonna touch to, upon that issues, okay? So, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, we ask, uh, you know, social economic background, SCS, right? Uh, most people, again, it seems, uh, you know, a few people in the upper, uh, upper class, right? So this is subjective identification. Uh, and uh, upper middle, and most people identify as middle and a low middle, which is, again, I think is consistent with our general, um, uh, uh, general, uh, uh, so, you know, regular uh, uh, survey, right? People tend to identify in the middle or, or even lower middle, lower middle. Um, well, Communist Party members, right? After here, we see that that exactly, uh, okay, this is exactly what the, I think in the population. General, I don't know the Wuhan situation, but the national, you know, 14% of the, 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 the adult population, right, uh, uh, were Communist Party members. Okay, so we do have these figures. And what is that? Ownership, again, it, which is quite consistent with, uh, again, with some of the statistics that we know about the national, uh, in, 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 in the national Chinese, gen, uh, national representative Chinese General Social Survey, right? I did have uh, uh, some, <clears throat> some figures on that. It's pretty much consistent, okay? So roughly, you know, it's not too biased, uh, simple, okay? Now, and also we ask people, right? We ask people their their uh, their the locations, right? They did okay. Most of the Chinese people, unless, you know, once they agreed uh, to uh, to participate in the uh, uh, in the survey, right? They actually 
uh, again, that's the consent, right? So, but we did, we were concerned about whether we're gonna, whether we should uh, collect the people's in address. And then we, uh, we had a question. So after they completed the interview, we asked them, you know, do you mind to send us something? We did pay them. Okay, we, 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 we paid uh, for the interview, for the 10 minutes interview. Um, so these are the locations, right? All the locations people came from. So these are really a central areas of the metropolitan Wuhan. So this is the whole Wuhan city, right? So there's some suburban, some villages. Okay, so most of this called in China is called a residential neighborhood. Okay, residential neighborhood and the uh, uh, residential neighborhood. These are villages. Okay, villages. So our focus was on uh, community, the role of community. Of course, we have a lot of information about the individuals, uh, sub, the depression. You know, they're worried about future. These very subjective opinions, right? But we, our focus here, the perspective is on community, okay? the role of communities. Now, now before I show you uh, other preliminary findings, okay, I, I would like you to remind you, okay? So some of you, because this audience, right? Is, uh, China is quite different from, from Brazil, okay? Uh, how the society or it was organized. And I, my first time to travel, a trip to Brazil. Indeed, I was invited by a company with a consulting company to talk about a Chinese society. Okay, so they really uh, uh, are interested. So this conference, I was paid to go there. This very preliminary origin. You know, China is a is is a no. You know, it's a it's a sometimes we call it authoritarian states, right? I call it it's called hierarchy, right? The so society is organized as a as, as a hierarchy top down. So, so typically, you would have a not a federal government; it's a central government that represented by state council, right? And then under this jurisdiction, that will be called a, uh, it will be called a province, right? Province. So Hubei province is here, right? China, the Hubei province. Then here, Wuhan city is part of Hubei province, right? Obviously, Wuhan city because it's a capital city, it will enjoy you know slightly higher status, right? like like semi-provincial status, right? Wuhan city. Then down to district, right? Now let's talk about district, then and so on. So so in terms of the city, right? That will be district, then to street for the street committee. Or oh, that's like a uh, in, in New York City that's called a barrow, okay? So streets. Uh, and a uh, barrow probably is here. Uh well, then, then streets, then down to so-called a neighborhood, a residential neighborhood, okay, resident within all the neighborhood is called official, okay? Official resident, they have clear boundary. You might have your, your residential quotas, right? The, the small areas divided, okay, divided. Sometimes you have an uh, entrance, right? Gates uh, to, uh, you know, to control the, the access, okay? Now in rural, this is in urban, right? This is in rural, this is called a village, okay? So village, again, so uh, I actually, when I talk about a Chinese society, right, for the control, so now in China during the lockdown, Okay, um, of the other part of China is that all villages, again, were blocked. Okay, so a lot of villages, right, blocked. So it just would not allow other people enter, right? Again, who did this, right? Is that uh, you have this kind of, there are some people who organize to do this, right? So what I'm gonna talk about in urban areas called a neighborhood, right? And uh, sometimes slash village because in some, so we have few uh, villages, okay, in Wuhan, the suburban areas, okay, suburban areas. Now, how did, so what I was trying to ask, I think is, a, where is I, did I have a figure? Now, for all this one, this, this again, so these people um, actually, uh, for the 4,000 people, right, they actually came in represent, okay? We might end up with two, you know, two or three, more than one people from uh, uh, the same, from the same uh, community, right? But, uh, uh, you know, they, they represent 1,000, okay, 1,100, 16 uh, communities, these units, right? Out of what, the 3,000, one third of the communities, right? This community is officially designated, okay, uh, communities. Now, what we ask that is uh, during this lockdown, like almost like uh, essentially house arrest, right? Is that how do, you, how do you survive, right? What the community do for you, okay? So really, you can see here is a very, well, here is a yes, no, right? So you look at the yes. So these are, are, are some of the, the activities we know, okay, we know community was supposed to do, right? We ask them, so how, what they do, so this is, you know, a translation called, a, you, know, you know, like a disease prevent, uh, prevent <coughs> disease uh, prevention, publicity, or sometimes we call it propaganda, right? 
propaganda. So all the information is dis disseminated, right? So this is the work they organize. So tell them how do you do? Stay at home, right? Uh, and uh, wash your hands, right? Social distance. Don't gather, okay? And secondly, uh, you know, release the information. This is also so information is not just the information. Information in the community. So it's the who who was who were affected, okay? So who so in the communities, how many cases today? You know, who was newly affected, okay? Now then, you know, clean and the sanitation work, right? This again, this is a measure temperature. So here, fifty fifty five fifty six percent. They actually community workers. Now come here to knock your door. Not only allow, say, uh, no, prevent you say, don't don't leave your home, right? Don't. But they also come into your door to to measure your temperature, okay? Temperature and so on. And here, okay, of course, there are some community. One sort of community they actually send some uh, free, uh, you know, supplies, some free, uh, you know, goods, right? To to residents probably seek to in order to seek corporations, right? And also, sixty percent of their help. Now, how do you, if you stay on, how do you eat, right? So they actually organize shopping, okay? 60% of them organized, okay? They actually put, they help you to shop, then, then, then place, then you just pick up, okay? So not, not all together, right? So, you, you know, they put them in front of your door and you come, come outside, come outside to pick up, okay? So that, imagine this is for, for two months, right? More than two months, they did this and so on, okay? Um, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and well, this only less than 10% of community, people said a community didn't do any work for them, okay? Didn't do any work for them. So, so that's seven, seven point, okay? So that's community work. Uh, I'll move a little bit. So then oh, of course- Hold on a second, just the blue and the orange. The blue, it, the, the- The blue, yes. Orange is, and the blue is no, okay? The yes. So you should focus on yes, right? Uh, okay. Focus on yes, focus you know, on it's orange. just a, a hundred, yeah. Minus, right? Uh, so add up together hundred. But uh, okay. anyhow, now then again in China is that this is a this is a system since the Mao period, right? This already the socialist system, right? Um, the top high, you know hierarchical top down system. But after China's economic reform and the uh, housing privatization, you know, so if I own my apartment, right? I said it's eighty percent of they own your apartment, right? So you are supposed to have a property management company. You hire people. That's, you know, I'm a, you know, I ha we paid you, right, to do, so what, what they do, okay, so obviously they also play their roles, okay, but this is really market. So basically you're hired by us, right, so by the, by the, the owners. So what they did, okay, again, is that 72, actually they did that. Sometimes this, this incorporation was in line with, with the residential community, which represent the government, okay. Now again, 60%, about, uh, about the same, right. I, and uh, and again here right uh, well it's they have to do something and again that's for shopping right so that really depending on what kind of uh, community you are if you are in like a high end uh, so we I pay you know annual monthly fees high on, on, monthly fees I expect good service probably I'll ask this management company staff to help us to shop right to collective shopping and you know to to ship the the goods right the daily supply to to us okay so that's uh, uh that's interesting and why and sometimes okay say nothing but again is that how china so this i call this is a government okay this community residential community this is a, what this is more, more like a market right market driven so i paid somebody you are paid by us right by the fee management fees and here this is a really a society it is a civil society organized okay now here so did you have a self organize yourself to to you know the self-organized we call self-save save right uh well the 60 percent is and yes okay so i haven't got time to look at you know the cross tab see how if if this doesn't work right the government road you know or weak and how do you how do you self self-organize right the we did you join the wechat group this is technology right so how do you how do you how do you shop right coordinate you know what do you do right so they actually have a wechat group so I want to eat vegetable, what kind of vegetables, right? So you shop for them for me, and I'll pay you through WeChat, right? So therefore, therefore I just uh, you know, a few minutes, five minutes, I went out to my people actually put my, the goods I sh I ordered right in front of my door. Okay, so that's that's the way. Uh, so that's eighty three percent of people 
uh, indeed use a WeChat group share the information. Okay. Um, all right. So this society. Now then, how do they they evaluate? It? Okay. So so they're low commun residential communities, right? In fighting against the COVID nineteen, right? Most people, again, this is a, if nothing, right? That means eighty people say they're very unsatisfied. The majority of them actually is a, is a, is at least above the average. Okay, so they did, you know, just imagine, right? You are not leaving your home for more than two months, right? Who is going to help you, right? And for all this daily supply. So interestingly, we have something about uh, like shopping, right? Uh, what is the living condition? Uh, I forgot what this uh, shopping. Medic supply. Oh, so it's what they did. What they what what kind of work they they did? Okay, so it's for shopping. Eighty three percent right through the 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 uh, the uh, through the community right. They help them. Uh, this medical supply. They give you mask right. The facial mask and some other sanit the <coughs> the uh, medical supplies. Uh, they also help you uh, help. Now, how long you are come? So and again is that uh, we did have something. I'll, I'll quickly show with you is that. Uh, how say how long were you encounter, encounter difficult when the time during the again the worst time was done right so so already for thirteen percent of that they already had difficulty okay they were locked down and then within a month next month so within a month if things are not getting better right so so eleven percent will say well probably they'll have difficulties right and so on only one third twenty nine percent they won't have any they won't worry too much about that. Perhaps those are people like us, okay, it's the university professors and uh, you know, people working in the government, right? So they really don't need to worry too much about that, okay? Now, and then we also ask people like, uh, uh, well, there is something about uh, diet, I forgot. Is that 50% of people said that they actually, their, 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 their diet, right? Indeed, they, they could not eat what they want. Uh, of course not, right? So, so really is uh, is significantly dropped, uh, et cetera, right? They only survived with uh, a certain kind of sustainable food. But anyhow, the most, most important part I want to share with you, okay, again, is that uh, initially when I was in Hong Kong, I, I keep my, my, my eyes closely, you know, I was you know, watching closely. So how this crisis, right, will lead to the post, you know, it's more social and political country. Obviously now uh, there's an, Unexpected one, which is uh, you know the out what happened in in, in Europe and the and the, and the U.S. right. But we really before we were concerned about the internal uh, instability, right? Political instability. And then, and we ask a question about the the, the political trust. And uh, so the trust indeed. Oh, here the trust is at a different la different levels of trust. Is whether you trust your neighbors, right? It turned out the neighbors here is a neighborhood trust, right? Is a no change, but in 28% actually increase because you need to coordinate, right? To enhance. So before most people they come, they they sell the. We do have the the figures talking about uh, uh, the number, you know the frequency. How do you chat with your? How how much you know about the neighbors, right? But but those information, few people, 10% of people know what the, exactly what the the neighbors did. Okay, uh, the work. But now it's increased, right? Versus decline. Okay, so most stay unchanged. Uh, unchanged here. This is for neighborhood, right? For local government, the city government, right? They actually the 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 trust dropped. Okay, trust dropped significantly. So that's the initial actually uh, outrage, public outrage about the city government and the provincial government. When central government stepped in, okay, stepped in. That interests me always, right? So because it's hierarchical, so. People immediately your 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 next level they should have responsibility for right. Obviously, I think the the complete the, the whole structure you know people talking about it, why the information did not read this out. You have to report it from to Beijing right. That really you know it takes much longer to 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 get a feedback right. And uh, so so you can see here well central government take the credits right because they organize all other province right medical staff to to go to to go to the uh, Hubei to help, right? And the center delegates the working teams there, right? They remove, uh, you know, party secretary of Hubei and the party secretary of Wuhan city, right? So you can send central government actually gain. So that means authoritarian regime, right? They effectively mobilized, right? Have a high mobilization or capacities, right? They actually gain from the credits. So these are, you know, I think the main, the current, uh, you know, the prevailing 
you know, discourse now in China, in the social media, I observe, right, which is really trying to tend to strengthen the regime, okay? And of course, you know, I think a propaganda machine, right, also play very important roles. But again, so, um, um, so to summarize, okay, um, now, again, China now so far is, I think is the most successful case. I don't believe in outside state, oh, no, China is still lying about the figures, et cetera, okay? So once the, once the system, once the machine, the hierarchical, the top, the, once it, it determined to do something, right, that can use the entire country, mobilize entire country, right, to, of course, Hubei and the Wuhan sacrifice, okay? So the control really rests on the party state hierarchy. You can blame for the initial ignorance, right, the mistake, but then when they, in, when they, when they realize this, right, then, then just very effectively, okay, so the very low uh, mortality, okay, and uh, now it seems like uh, everything is under control, okay, in China, and I don't think they're intentionally li lying about any stats, okay, so based on my, my, my experience with SARS, so when I first came to Hong Kong, right, that was during that period, then secondly, I would say the grassroots community actually played a very important role. And I don't say whether if you have a similar thing in, uh, in, in, in India or in Brazil. Okay, so that's what we talk about. But the final point I want to make is really, you know, it's not possible without now the technology, technology penetration to people's daily life and the WeChat, etc. Again, that really intrude people's privacy now, okay. So now we can actually, people believe this may be overused. And I talked to many university professors that they don't need to collect this kind of information. But now if you, you are allowed to go outside, right? But they actually use a mobile phone, you need a passport, the health passport in your mobile phone to track your trajectory. So whenever you go to a place, if there is infected the case, then can track all the people, uh, you know, whoever been here, okay. So etc. So here I give you a last figure. This is really, a, 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 a question we ask is whether we know is a community community release information about the infected case in the community. So you know who lives what, right? Where uh, in your community? So try to avoid the, that uh, that place or not that floor. So again, this is a you know unimaginable. In Hong Kong, we did pu you know publish release information, but not in the community, but not in, in the, even in the you know, exact information about, uh, you know, the cases, right? We know that we, the community have the effect of the case, that's all. Okay, now 70% of Chinese people, okay, that you surveyed in Wuhan said, uh, yes, of course, right? Of course, um, uh, only 30% said, uh, well, they had a concern. I think highly educated, I look at it as a highly educated, high SES people, they have concerns. So what about after, after pandemic, right? You know, where I go, what I do, right? If you wanted, who collect this information, right? I cannot have, a, have any controls, right? So that's a worry about, uh, you know, is, a, is a the party state authoritarian regime now, they're penetrating to your private life. Okay, so that's my, okay, sorry, but okay. Uh, yeah, you have any questions? So I'll, I'll stop sharing. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so what I did is um, to, to, I thought, First is, um, since Yan initially introduced us and, and made the connection, I asked Yan if he could kind of maybe think about asking some st starting off discussion points to try to help get the discussion going. So we'll have Yan and to, for the audience that doesn't know who he is, he is a student, at, uh, he was a student, he's a former student. He, was, he completed his PhD in the Department of Sociology at the University of Sao Paulo. And he was taught by some professors, kind of shady professors, including me. <laughs> and we kept, we kept in touch. And he, uh, last year, I think, or two years ago, Yen, you moved and you've been, you've been working abroad and living in China. Uh, and I don't know if you want to introduce yourself and tell the audience a little bit about yourself before. Okay. Well, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, so thank you, Lorena, for inviting. Thanks, to Professor Wu, for being here with us. It's a pleasure to meet you again, even yeah, yeah. Uh, virtually. Uh, I am, as Lorena said, I'm a uh, PhD from the University of Sao Paulo, and I'm living in China for two years. Even I'm here in Brazil now. I came here in January, and I couldn't come back <laughs> to 
to China and now I cannot leave Brazil. So I'm locked down here in, in Brazil. And today I'm a, I'm a researcher at the Brazilian Center for Analysis and Planning and at the Social Accountability International. And I've been invited by this project uh, in which Lorena is the scientific coordinator to monitor and to identify uh, the socioeconomic consequences of the pandemic in Brazil. And I'm very happy to, to join you in this project. We hope to do a good job and to help uh, to help to, with this. So I have, uh, I try to, to be brief in my comments. So I, I have, I think, two questions. But first of all, I'm, I'm, I think it's a privilege for us to researchers here in Brazil to have such a primary and deep information from China that now is for sure the most qualified nation to describe pandemic and to deal with the consequences. Uh, so the, the first point I, I'd like to make is related to the scale, right? Uh, other world and Brazil is not different. Uh, it's discussing the economic impact of the pandemic from a macro perspective. But what Professor Wu uh, brought here is exactly the opposite. I mean, uh, it's how the pandemic and everything related to the pandemic is experienced in daily life by individuals and communities. And I think everyone is worried about this too, and must be, because we see a lot of numbers in the television, in the news, and, but what's happening with people around the world? Uh, so we have a very fresh and deep data uh, and very happy to, to that Professor Wu shared with us. So this makes us think about how the Chinese culture and these institutions shaped all this experience. Right? Uh, I think this is a very important point because I was in China during January and I was there when the lockdown started. And now he, I'm here in Brazil and I can see how different the, the society uh, respond to the pandemic and how people behave and also how government uh, responds to it. So the second one is related to a pre-existing social stratification structure and how it affects families' response to the pandemic. Uh, we know that socioeconomic stratification plays a very important role in shaping individuals and family lives. And I know Professor Wu is uh, a school in social certification research a lot uh, and knows a lot about Chinese social certification. Uh, so looking, I would like to ask Professor Wood this specific point. So looking for the data uh, you have here, I know you didn't have time to, to analyze all of, all of the data you collected. Uh, my first question is, you, you talk a, a little bit about this, but I would like if you could uh, answer, uh, talk a bit more. Uh, what's the role of the Chinese culture and institutions by one side, and what's the role of social economic stratification on the other side? In, in other words, uh, what I mean, what's general, the stratif uh, social stratification that's similar in every market society? Uh, what's specific to, to the Chinese society, the institutions? You talked about the political institutions mm -hmm. and culture, okay? Uh, I'm asking, as I told you, I'm asking this because uh, what I'm seeing, very, I, I have experienced two different ways with dealing with this, and I probably you 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 can talk more about China about this. So the second question is more practical somehow. So uh, what governments and welfare systems can learn from the Chinese experience? But not only from a broader institutional perspective, but also from a micro perspective. Let's say street level interactions between professionals, health professionals and families. Because you said the community had a, played a very important role. But besides community, how was the, the, the actions uh, of the health professionals in the micro, micro level, not as a big welfare system, that starts in the central government and finishes in the individuals. And the last one, it's just, uh, I got very impressed uh, when you talked about, you, you divided your, your, your dimensions in state markets and society, that's what makes well-being, right? And mm -hmm. let's say everything is, looks to be very good in China. State, uh, people believe in, in, in state because it works, 
it worked to control the pandemic. Uh, the, the market worked very well, and people trust it, uh, each other. So it seems to be the three dimensions it's uh, converging. Uh, of course, this is a result from the research, but what kind, what's not going well in this combination? That's my question. Because what is, say it again? Yeah. You have, you have state market and society and yeah, yeah, your so data what, show that both work very good. So what's not very good within it? So from your experience. Oh, okay, okay. What is it in this triangle relation? Yes, yes. Okay. That's it. So thank you. And uh, again, it's a pleasure to have so you here. I, will, will there be another speaker? No, not you. No. Oh, oh, just me. Okay. So I saw that, you know, I need to give time to another speaker. So uh, oh, well, all these are, are a good we, ones. Well, so what we hope is just after you discuss Jan, we'll open, we have the audience and the more people will ask. People are already oh, okay, writing okay. questions. Yeah, I saw oh. an announcement. I saw that there was a seminar and uh, there are two speakers, okay. Yes, but, no, no, um, everyone's uh, online with this. We're just not right, showing right. everybody's picture. Okay, great. Um, well, the first the question, uh, I, you know, I'm editing a journal, right? So we actually, um, was trying to, uh, there's, I, you know, the journal called the Chinese Sociological Review. We have uh, a special uh, issue cover paper for the special issue called the family, community, and a nation state, right, uh, in, in the coronavirus uh, crisis. So the first question, I think only we can assume or presume, say, um, why, well, in China, you probably would not, in Chinese cases, it will be very difficult to differentiate uh, between the role of so-called cultural and the institution of the political structure, political institution. The reason is, uh, you know, if you are older, stay at home, right? So you don't know is that, that you, can you afford not obeying, okay, abide by the the order, right? So this is a question. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to to answer, but then we. Uh, I, the reason I give you a, a, uh, a, a, a ranking of the, safe, the safety country ranking, right? You see here, uh, in particular in East Asian countries, right? Uh, uh, East Asian countries are, uh, you know, so far are doing particularly good and the people actually um, um, uh, trying to actually link to, there's no, you know, statistic or very solid you know, uh, uh, proof, right? But uh, there is a a sort of some kind of discussion saying uh, why South Korea, right? Uh, again, uh, Korea uh, initially, right? It's worse, but then it's pretty much under control, right? Uh, you know, it did very well, okay, Taiwan. And uh, well, Taiwan sometimes, uh, you know, they both stay, they call it democracy, but then obviously, so that's, uh, and Hong Kong now, they, again, is that in, in the first stage, the initial stage is that the government don't know how to do that. Once government have clear, they know how to handle this, right? So, so then they order uh, people, not order, but actually some suggestions, right? Now, for, so far, it's, uh, uh, you know, we're not, we're, we're not, you know, our university is still closed. So after we open, okay, for, for two, week, two weeks, we have a second wave of imported case from uh, European countries and the, uh, and uh, North America, right? So we actually, no, we haven't been able to go back, okay? Um, so these cultural things certainly play the role, uh, uh, I would say, but it needs to be probably more comparative study, particular, right, in neighboring. So you would control both, well, the democracy and regimes, right, which I, I tend to overemphasize, like China's unique uh, structures, right? and. Uh, the culture, okay. So, so culture, it's it's hard to measure, but if we see certain country, we can classify them. So, usually, we'll say trust, right? Trust the government, obey authority, obey orders, uh, etc. Right. So, so all these things may have uh, may 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 help to 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 uh, to uh, reduce the, the infections, okay. And um, um, uh, so, uh, so this is a, a question we are we we're, we're looking forward to to look for more uh, countries' data, right? Just like uh, other cross national comparative study now, because almost every you know since uh, almost every country would have uh, would have these kind of cases, right? 
and a statistic published online. So uh, we simply just just do uh, as in the future, okay, do as uh, as what we did in in uh, other cross national uh, comparative studies to sort of this out, or cultural or institutional uh, 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 perspective, right? But in China, it's just the two. Uh, too unique, okay, too unique. Uh, you really cannot tell much, but perhaps in other, uh, even in other, the rest of uh, the, the other parts of China, uh, this could also be a, you know, so what we, what we said is that it's not necessary to enforce that kind of a strict rules. You know, in Shanghai, people are not allowed to leave community, right? Shanghai, the case is even lower than Hong Kong and Taiwan, right? But they, you know, this is over restricted. Okay, so uh, that uh, so we we hope to do some comparative study uh, between cities. But again, uh, even among the community communities, right? We were trying to 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 replicate this in Shanghai. We already have the questionnaires, but now uh, you know, we will not be able to do that uh, through even WeChat, right? So we have a household panel in Shanghai. So we plan to do that uh, to similar work in Shanghai. Uh, at least one module asking question about uh, the community role in fighting against the, the coronavirus. Uh, the second question uh, was about the, this uh, uh, health professionals, right? I, again, uh, uh, you can see that, uh, well, in, that's perhaps, again, is that, uh, you know, if it, it was, you know, in the Chinese case, I, <coughs> I would say is that uh, China, this is again is very unique situation. So China is all province, right? So again, it's a top-down central central mandate. Uh, well, this has always happened in China. So whenever you had any kind of a crisis, or so they actually pair, they pair, um, uh, you know, each. So in Hubei, say each prefecture level city, they will pair with one province. Just imagine the rest of the province, right? So all the provinces will send mobilize the professional health professionals, right? Send it to one city, uh, one, one city, prefecture level city, okay? Prefecture level city. So I, I don't have exact figures. There must be, you know, uh, uh, thousands of, 10,000, more than 10,000 of the health professional mobilized, right? Will send it to Hubei to help, everywhere in Hubei to help, right? In Wuhan, the epicenter, right? Uh, military again okay, is that uh, perhaps they need more right so that's more more severe uh, affected the regions right so they have uh, uh, they mobilize the uh, the, uh, the PLA okay uh, you know helps uh, uh, the doctors and the nurse right to to send to to Wuhan to help so yeah. so I think it's over the the uh, before is that if you allow people stay at home they just affect, you know they actually uh, the the family member were were were, uh, were affected right they were infected. Um, uh, so, you know, maybe in just in, in two weeks, okay, they build up two hospitals, right? That's kind of the, the, the big, I, I don't know how to say that in English, right? So you put the, those suspected cases there, right? To isolate them, okay? And uh, taking care about by, uh, uh, by, by health professionals from all of the countries, right? But because they only locked the one province, they locked the one province and the neighboring. Now, there are some interesting case about, uh, about those you know those uh, those regions right in between okay so for for example people can easily cross the border right to another province that caused uh, indeed the the fight uh, again you know uh, between between two neighboring uh, province the you know the officials in two neighboring uh, you know jurisdictions or prefectures or counties uh, etc so so i think this is something um, well you know you perhaps if you in the us right the situation if china were not uh, in the lockdown, uh, Hubei and Wuhan, right? That perhaps, if we just uh, you know spread, uh, you know, uh, all of the countries, that that will well, you probably only uh, need to play, uh, pray, right? And uh, ask, uh, well, just uh, with a hope, time you know passes and then a flattened curve, right? Became uh, you will not be able to do uh, you know this mobilized health care professionals, right, to send to Hubei. So this just uh, all the Professionals. This is again. I don't know how to. All you know. It's supposed to coordinate by Beijing. Okay, Beijing. The uh, the Ministry of uh, of uh, uh, Waste and uh, House and uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, Commission. Okay. Uh, 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 
that's uh, and this this also also happened in any many other say um, uh, for example eight to Xinjiang right they also pair one you know I have friends who are sent to so you have a you, you know each each prefecture level okay so this particular province the other province like brothers right so each particular prefecture under that province you will have a pairs right pairs uh, to to the whole province they help one very tiny uh, 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 prefectures, right? So, 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 so. Usually, this the the resources should be uh, should be sufficient, okay. And um, uh, under the condition is that if their own regions, right, their own province were under control, okay, uh, were, were not not uh, since were not getting worse, okay. Uh, the last question uh, was about uh, the, the the triangle society, uh, state, and uh, and uh, and the market, right? Uh, in this three triangle, I you know this is a, not the, the framework I I just uh, adopted uh, just a convenient uh, framework. But in this, you can see here is that state play much more stronger roles. Uh, some of you, you know you, you know I, if I talk to people maybe in the U.S. they know the earthquake in about ten years ago, okay, before Xi Jinping, before the current regime, right know, in power. So in in uh, uh, earthquake in Western Sichuan at that point. You can see a very vibrant civil society, right, coming out. So this was not the order from the government from top down. So as I said, it's now it's all everything, right? It was ordered from the Beijing, right? Once they they know how to do it, right? They are aware of that. But but again, it's a civil society. The immediate spontaneous civil society here uh, were still the I, I think is much much uh, you know weaker, and uh, closely monitored. Okay. Uh, so I put this. If you I see the three three uh three uh the pillars right uh, and the uh, society is weaker and people are sitting there waiting for well that's a that's a government you know the residential community workers right coming here community workers coming here to help and i just yesterday i chat with people our collaborators of Wuhan, is that uh, well these community leaders okay these community workers were not simply from just from the community right because the, you know, the, the the terms of the work, right? Much work for you to do. Okay, you help deliver supplies, right? Help people shopping, all these things. All government employees, right? They have never been back for the past two months, right? Um, the government uh, government staff, right? <clears throat> they were not allowed. So that's full time, no weekend. Okay, no weekend. Of course, they can go. They can be allowed to go back to uh, to 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 home, but uh, I. I heard is a lot of people actually uh, they were just uh, living uh, in the dorm because they they were afraid their work may affect their they may get affected and affect their 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 family members right so many people okay the government paid employees they actually were sent to yeah, because government were closed right government office closed so government of these people you're paid by government right again is that a, probably they need to worry about their job security but now okay so if you if you're not, if you're not, you know, this is what uh, what the, what what you were ordered to do, right? So if you if you're not, even you're not willing, okay, to do that, you you might you might be punished or maybe I, I don't know, okay. So so you can see here is that people actually coming. So these people community really again was was you know representing government, right? So uh, and uh, and there are a lot of complaints about so you know, this particularly in Wuhan. I think if in Shenzhen, probably in other coast areas, you will see much stronger, more vibrant uh, civil society. You know, today civil society was not nowadays was not used, even allowed to use, right? Uh, as 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 a, as a term uh, in Chinese uh, Chinese language. Uh, but you can you will see more of that. But in Wuhan, that's traditionally dominated, right? By this, uh, it's still it's inland, right? More more in line with this uh, this uh, traditional uh, system, but. But I can tell you a lot about this, right? But certainly is that even I call it social, okay? Perhaps again, I, I you know, it, it, it's supposed to be organized. So government relatively, uh, this part was weak, okay, relatively weak, and it can be strong. If it's strong, then then creates problems, okay? Uh, troubles, okay? Uh, you might be suspicious, okay? Um, uh, and I, we did talk to some people like university faculty living in different kind of communities. For example, uh, faculty housing, they were allowed okay, in the Bajong University Science Technology, right? The professor, uh, they were at home, but, uh, uh, but they also were allowed to take one day out 
again, this was ordered by not, so residential community, they don't have enough staff to do this, right? So this was organized, but really by Danway. Okay, uh, my, my another stratification work, right, was about the so-called employee uh, uh, in the hierarchy, that's called Danway, right? They actually ask you to, you know, to go out to do voluntary work for one day, okay? For one day, you may have some excuse, okay? Uh, say you are, you know, you are not feel, you do not feel good, etc. But in general, in general, people will follow, right? You go, you you go out to do the work. So I would say is that in general here, you know, uh, uh, about the social stratification, right? Now, if you if you look at uh, um, um, the uh, <clears throat> some of the figures I look at, I have I do not have a very good measure of of uh, SCS. But if we if we look at you know the you know whether you encounter uh, you know uh, hardships right and uh, uncertainty about the future, uh, infected cases, all these things right. If you tabulate with education, with a na residential neighborhood, with a subjective class right. So this is pretty much similar to uh, to what we found in New York, say African Americans right, uh, or you know, more like you know high proportion, disproportionately uh, affected, uh, et cetera, right? So SES neighborhood and a poor neighborhood that probably have a high death rate, uh, et cetera. We do also have a lot of information about, uh, you know, how many people in the communities, right? Uh, the, 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 you know, the, the affected cases and the, you know, uh, within the communities. So we haven't got time to merge that, right? To uh, to the data sets and how that will affect people's uh, people's uh, you know the the depression, uh, other things right. So these are all uh, I think the, it's consistent with our our uh, you know uh, general perception even in China uh, or in other countries right, that the the general literature on uh, social stratification uh, in health. Uh, but one thing uh, I we found okay uh, is uh, is uh, again is uh, yesterday our group meeting uh, was uh, something very interesting but i we have to, i have to look at the data to say whether this may be due to say this artifact right so maybe a spirit is that uh, you found that the party we do have a certain 15 14 percent of party members right those party members actually feel a much higher pressure uh, so our in explanation our colleagues uh, in wuhan uh, his in, inter, interpretation would be again. So most of them they work in the in the government the government uh, sectors, right? And uh, again, they 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 were they feel high pressure, okay, for the work, okay. So uh, this community work and the government employees, right? So that's something unusual because party member usually uh, you would in, they would enjoy high SCS, right? But it is in particular this might attributed to this uh, particular mobilization structures, right? Um, um, I, do I miss anything? No, no. Um, yeah. um, we have a question from, from Giseli. She's uh, Giseli Pereira. She's a student of social sciences, but she asked for uh, me to read your, her question. Okay. And she yes. says um, what she'd like to ask you um, and to share a little bit of background um, you're talking about, you're absolutely right that there's very different levels of, of lockdowns, right? Um, some people in Brazil use the word lockdown, but we, we don't come close. We have a encouraging social distancing and, and social isolation, but we don't have a lockdown in the sense that in Brazil, people are not uh, even yet, we, we don't have it as at the level of what you're describing that was occurring. So she's asking, was the goal of the government policy, because we have in Brazil, a lot of the governors go and they say, oh, we're not yet high enough in the social distancing. We have to go higher. So in China, was the goal 100%, 90%? What was the level of, when, when we think lockdown, what, was, what does that mean in terms of, because she's saying, you still had people moving, the community workers, security, the physicians, people who were working in the food, in the essential services were still being allowed to operate. So do we know what percent of the society was completely uh, in lockdown and what percent was moving? <clears throat> okay, now for lockdown in, uh, well, you know, if I, I were talking about Wuhan, right, Wuhan is completely 
so called uh, well that's that's a, that's an order from central government so no one so initial the the slow response because this is really really radical change right no one has authority even city of Wuhan, the mayor of Wuhan and uh, and the uh, governor of Hubei province right they would not have authority to forbidden people from leaving right now but then the order issued really issued uh, you know with with approval from central government the state council blocked down and I, I, I did not, I, I thought I have a figure, maybe I did not talk about. It. So the figure shows that, the, so lockdown means lockdown community that, again, is that you are not allowed to enter, to go out, outside of your community, right? Free, so you have to have a check. So anybody, so if I have a FedEx, right? Um, well, you are not allowed to deliver to your door to door. So you have to, you know, somebody was sitting in front of the community gates, right? So you might, so, so that's, you need a lot of staff to work on, to serve those people who are locked in, okay, locked in. Uh, we have the figure to show, you know, did you have a, had a lockdown? Is a 90% of community, people said, right? The community were completely locked down. Okay? It was closed, closed. So this is a very strict, I think it's an overreaction, again, with huge cost, right? Economic cost, uh, economic cost. And now, so basically the economy well, was completely stopped, right? So now China was trying to mobilize Again, the rest of the country, right, to help the 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 Wuhan, uh, the economy. So you need to hire people from Wuhan. Uh, well, you know, and uh, also if they, you know, they have uh, some kind of products or some some uh, say fruits or something, right? Now they were able to ship out, right? So you please order, right, to help Wuhan or help Hubei, right? So this is a, the situation. Um, uh, but later, I think is to some extent it's overreact, certainly. Right, with a huge cost. But again, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows what, so now they actually have a classified, classified classification, classified. So they would have a, you know, classified with more information available, they will have a high risk, medium risk and a lower risk. And then they encourage a lower risk to relax the control. But again, it's that you're allowed to go outside, right? But again, now you have to, when you go outside, it already collect the information, you, you have a, you have uh, barcodes, and uh, so whenever you say you go outside, you may infect it, inf uh, infect it, and get back. So they will be able to track you. So you went out a shopping mall, but suddenly there was a case from Russia, right? Then they will be able to track you, and uh, and then warn the community. So again, um, uh, I I think just like uh, you know, it's, it's no one. We never had any in social science. Okay, history never have a counterfactual, right? Counterfactual scenario. Just like uh, initially, we would say, well, you know, the Chinese government, right, the so Wuhan, because you, you, you control the information, you know, it's not transparent, because no one can afford. If I say, I, I raise the alert level, and then, well, what about if it didn't happen, right? Do, we, do the society want to pay the cost, the, the, the cost? And then we can, you know, as originally I'm from China, right? So, so sometimes we say, oh, you know, this, this communist system, you know, uh, non-democratic system did not, should be blamed for, for, the, for the, you know, hiding the information. But look at the US, right? The same situation. Now you have a more like a similar situation. What happened is initially you thought, of, well, this probably, well, it's a, it's a serious problem, but I don't want to, you know, to, to cause panic to the society, right? So that probably is something I can imagine why the local government of Wuhan, Hubei province, right? They probably thought is that, you know, we reported, but may to the public, this might be something we need to really, you know, why, why you know, it's cause unnecessary panic, right? No one would know, no one knows, you know, how, how serious this, this, this epidemic is, right? So I'm not trying to speak on behalf of the Chinese government, but you can just imagine, right? So the situation is that we're learning, okay? So again, it's right now, well, they will have a much better regulation and um, information, right? Um, uh, even for the system, they collected for the health system. They, they actually developed the system in response to this pandemic, okay? Uh, before they never had this kind of system uh, installed in your, the app in, installed in your, in your Apple, uh, in your mobile phones, okay, in your mobile phone. Um, the other thing I want to say is, uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, so one more thing. Um, so we, I want to, why I study Wuhan, right? I actually, I just learned how bad, you know, compared to other, say, city I know, Beijing and, uh, 
and there's uh, Shanghai, uh, and uh, so uh, for the so-called we study called uh, we study governance, right? The grassroots governance. Then no wonder why this epidemic, right, took place in Wuhan is that we want information about communities. We ask, no one knows, right? So no one know. Okay, so that's in, in Shanghai and Shenzhen, they already installed all kinds of, again, that's an investment, right? Investment, they have a clear you know, community level statistic, how many people living here, right? They have a called grid management, which later probably Wuhan will do that because they learned the lessons, okay? They learned the lesson from, um, uh, and I actually asked of somebody who actually worked with, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, closely the, my, my, my collaborator, right? our collab, one of our collaborators, the closely work with city government. I ask, you know, what kind of information he has. He has a very close relationship because his former uh, uh, mentor, okay, uh, advisor was, uh, was now is a deputy governor, vice governor of Hubei province, right? So, and in charge of health affairs, okay? So, so he knows, he said, you know, there's no such kind of information in, in Wuhan, in Hubei, okay? And which I said, how come, right? In Shanghai, well, I know my team already have this, right? We accumulate, have it, we know somewhere you can get it, right? So I don't think a government uh, intentionally want to hide the information from us, just simply, they're not aware of this kind of uh, social infrastructures, okay? Uh, they, they should have, okay, for, in the US, you would have a uh, census tracts, right? The populations, uh, well, the basic study in New York City, you know, I can easily go there and find out, okay? And uh, then you, you plug in all these infected cases and the mortality, right? In mapped in the neighborhood, okay? And the socioeconomic characteristics of, in the demographics, right? Socioeconomic characteristics of the, at the neighborhood level, a census tract, right? Equivalent to census tract, right? So who had this kind of infrastructure was not there yet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, we have another question from Luis Susigan. And he's asking, uh, he's, he also didn't want to ask his question, but he says that he wanted to ask, um, China's success in controlling the epidemic is mainly due to three factors. One, strong state coordination. Two, high community bonds. Three, high technology penetration. Is that correct? If, if, if those are the three, is that your, yes. your conclusion is that you need all three? Yes? Yes. And so he yes. says, so then comes the hard part, right? Because yeah. he says, if so, what's wrong in the case of the United States? Um, what does the U.S. share of those qualities? Well, the case was, again, is the initial response, I mean, right? So that's what I'm saying. The counterfactual is that, uh, well, you know, even for the election, right? So Donald Trump did not want to say bring down the economy, right? So you can't say you cannot afford to lock it down. So he actually keeps saying, well, this is not a problem, just like a flu, right? Et cetera, et cetera. So again, so that's, that's under, under, under the system, which, which I think uh, right now is that, well, perhaps in China is that uh, China at that point, uh, Perhaps you know the rest of the other thirty-one provinces may say, you know, how come? Why? Why should we do this? Right? Uh, well, it's uh, well, that's that's a that's a. I think that's a from really a top. Okay, I I mean it's a, it's a one person's decision. Now you know who it is, right? Uh, so it's uh, and uh, there's no other voice. I don't think this. So among the three factors, I would say the first is more effective. Okay, but again, is that a, that's why I'm saying the China model cannot be copied to other 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 uh, other society okay but again other things right did play their role so that means you have to have a counterfactual uh, you know something similar which i think uh, ian uh, mentioned uh, uh, raised a question about the culture about communities right about so so well in other non authoritarian uh, neighboring region and the countries right they did pretty well okay people tend to cooperate uh, well, uh, and uh, before the scene's getting worse, right? So he said, now once you're getting worse, so people know that, right? you're afraid, you know, you want to you wanna, you wanna be alive, right? So before things get worse, you know, how come, right? Why my daily life will be just uh, affected? I don't see any serious problem, okay? With, no, we know there's a pandemic before several, you know, before this one, right? So I just heard the name. I never thought this would be a problem 
you know, just around me, right? My, my daily life. So that's something uh, I, I think right now in Hong Kong, the situation, right, was mostly due to people actually coming back, may, you know, have different kinds of, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, perceptions or, uh, or values or whatever. So people actually coming from Europe and the US, most in fact the case, now it's over 10, uh, 1,000, okay? So before we are pretty much under control, or reopened. Now these people actually went outside, okay? So now Hong Kong uh, enforce a very strict regulation. You could be arrested. Before you just say, oh, you come back, they ask you to do this, right? Uh, you know, just stay at home. Uh, people, uh, well, a lot of people go to, go to bar, okay? Uh, so they went to bar. So that's, that's things getting worse, okay? Uh, here and uh, and right now this is more strictly uh, perhaps uh, you no know, uh, I don't think it's uh, but you know the society also would not what I'm saying is that it's not a good or bad it means that society are different the people view their you know really is between individual rights and the social you know the public interest or public uh, safety right and also in you know, the privacy what I'm saying right so so really, you know, individual rights and, and order. Okay, so this we have a question in the law and society studies, right? So, so in in East Asian countries, right? Um, and uh, uh, certainly, okay, I, I think the second the community uh, did play a role, okay, very important role, and also its organization. I think in in Singapore, in 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 uh, in Korea, okay, in South Korea, okay, this neighborhood. I did look at a comparative study of neighborhood, right? The neighborhood were quite different from the neighborhood, uh, uh, say uh, in say in the U.S. Right in the U.S., this is more like spontaneous. It's just the, rather here, this uh, people said in the East Asian, the neighborhood, the neighborhood in in Tokyo, in Vietnam, in China, to a more extent, right? They are actually spread up between the the society, the state, and the society, right? And the state in China probably more lean towards the state. Okay, so this and the third is about technology. Um, well, the technology, well, the worst the situation, I would say is that I cannot imagine. So you might say, you know, if we don't have this, all this measure, be, the, the, the community control and also state uh, uh, coordination, right? We would might expect, uh, uh, well, something happened, but uh, well, there will be a, a flattened, right? So I, I think not, in epidemiology, we know there will be a flattened, uh, you know, curve, um, uh, but not this kind of a strong state you know, uh, visible state interaction to disrupt them, okay, disrupt the, 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 the natural dis, dis spread, right? But, but, the, but the, the penetration of the, the technology, the, the social media, the WeChat, right, really helped. I don't think in China, I, I saw another ranking talking about the social media, right? Except for Philippines, China, and the US, they are, they are perhaps more uh, higher, I think is uh, uh, the penetration is the highest of people using the social media. But in the US and in China, China is censored, right? So that was social media, you do need a, a state of coordination. So certain information suddenly, so we're frustrated, okay? So a lot of people like people deep in the background like us, my, my former classmates, right? In China, they're frustrated, they share, but now it's a lot of things are blocked, right? But the US, the situation is that uh, you see, you know, the federal, government and the state government, this is a democracy, right? how typical democracy works, right? And also this media. So this one, uh, this, the, the technology only used for, for the reason, right? To, uh, for the purpose of goals set up by the state and, uh, and the community. I, you know, that's my, my take. I think in all the three, right? Again, the first one perhaps is more important. Okay, I wanna have a highlight. Wonderful. Um, we have a question from Murilo and he's going to ask it live. Murilo okay. and anybody who wants to ask questions, um, I'm just taking the questions that people are sending. Murilo, do you want to ask? Yes. Um, thank you so much for your talk. Um, the first question would be, uh, what are the economic impacts that uh, Yuhan will face with the end of the lockdown? And the second one would be, Will the government provide some sort of relief package to those in dire need? Thank you. Oh, no, there are a lot of, uh, so I haven't, I haven't, uh, I, you know, believe me, so mostly uh, Wuhan, that's completely, certainly the government, the economy has stopped, right? So almost stopped for two months, okay? It's not, so US, it was talking about uh, reopen the economy, right? 
uh, and uh, you know, it's just a few weeks, but the Wuhan, just imagine, right? The Hubei, the, the particular Wuhan, right? Two months, more than two months, right? So I assume there should be a lot of deficit. Uh, well, for the government right now, I think when China was gradually, you know, moved back to normal, uh, again, they use the same model, right? But right now is China, I, I think for, for you know, we, for now, it seems like uh, attention has not been paid to Wuhan in particular. So it was China, was because the whole country um, uh, uh, during this period are uh, pretty much locked down. Okay, so now uh, they were trying to get back to the, the normal. Okay, for, for some of the regions who were not affected, right? To get normal. But unfortunately now is that uh, once the, the factory opened, you know, uh, well, the order was canceled, right? From Europe and the, and the US. So that is unexpected and no one have ever, had ever uh, expected. So that the consequence, so there will be even huge, so before we see the good sign, okay, very uh, optimistic. So everything is under control, right? We're back to our life. But now seems, you know, it's, we are even entering an even more bumping uh, road, right? Is that the China's, you know, the you know, fight against the U.S. And also most importantly is the economy. Uh, initially, uh, the economy was 6% uh, in, in a predicted uh, then they settled down to five something. Okay, later first away in the first quarter, right? You may have a negative, okay, or one percent. And the next second second quarter, the rest of the year, you will pick up just like what they see they saw in, in uh, during the SARS, right? So then over the year, you will get uh, five point some, something, the five point four percent growth rate. But now, well, it's ne it's still positive, only positive, right? Your, your country perhaps that's. Uh, one or two percent, right? So that will cause a lot of lot of problem, potential problem. No one knows what happened. Okay, um, so uh, I think uh, the situation, the, the the problem is for the country as a whole, not just the Wuhan itself. Um, but once other parts get back to normal, I'm sure they will help Wuhan. And I just saw a a, a hiring, uh, like a recruitment. To say that's only for, uh, you know, just some university in, in Shanghai, they said, well, Wuhan, the graduates from Wuhan have priority. So I guess perhaps there was some kind of uh, uh, coordination, and if not a mandate from the Beijing Ministry of Education, right? So, uh, well, you know, they have uh, tried to help them. And, uh, and again, is that uh, in, on the WeChat, the, uh, they were, you know, actually mobilized people. So they tried to help Wuhan people, you know, all the goods, services here, right? once the business reopened, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, so far, okay, so um, uh, there's no so-called relief, the package as what we had in Hong Kong here or the, in the US, I don't know situation in Brazil. Uh, China did not have that uh, kinds of universal packages, okay, universal package to uh, to help, but I we would expect again the the unemployment rate could be very very high. Okay, so what the what the problem, right? So once people lost their job, right? Uh, what again, really depending on what what the the authoritarian regime, right? This kind of a, whether they're resilient enough to accommodate, there's some kind of unrest, but again, they are, they will be able to you know to to control. Okay. Um, uh, Thank you. Um, thank you, Murido. Um, the other question we have, um, and I'm going to read it, um, the person asked to be anonymous, um, their question, so um, we don't know who it is, but he says, I have a question for Professor Wu. I would like to know how Professor Wu may trust the figures given by the Chinese government on the number of cases and the death toll of the pandemics, given the fact that China has yet has been concealing and distorting data in the last 70 years. Until today, we do not know the number of dead in the Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution, and the Tiananmen Square Massacre. Also, the Bloomberg investigation revealed that China inflated its GDP growth by 2% 2 between 2008 and 2018. China has also closed its public archives to foreign researchers. The U.S. Mm -hmm. intelligence community has also recently cast doubt on the statistics. Mm -hmm. Mark Scissors from the American Enterprise Prize Institute has calculated that the real death toll is 3 million cases and 80,000 dead. Given these facts, do you have? Okay. 
Well, okay. So, so I know what that means. Okay. So I'm teaching yes. China Chinese uh, Chinese uh, society. Okay. I I think again, there's somebody from American uh, enterprise. So this is a uh, so simple to naive. Okay. So that's uh, I'm not speaking. I'm you know I'm not you know I'm in Hong Kong, right? So perhaps I will speak. But a lot of bias uh, in in China is that really people need to. So just look at you know I simply just say the what where the where where the stand. All the figures. There's no reason at this point, right, for 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 Chinese government to lie. Okay, given the 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 you know the the uh, the the logic behind that, right? You just imagine that. So people, you know, if you if you use, uh, uh, I look at the, I look at some of the questions. Okay, some of the people who try to challenge that, they basically already have a standpoint before. Then they use seventy years. Okay, seventy years. Um, uh, I I use one example to show that. Okay, so in my Chinese Chinese uh, uh, society class, it was uh, actually uh, was done by my uh, my uh, respectable colleagues. Okay, so these guys, the fake figure you give, you can read them carefully. Okay, as a scholar, okay, whether they can be published in a journal article, no. Okay, so this is really they cite some ad hoc, uh, then make a make a make a, a, a some kind of exaggeration plus imaginations. Okay. Now, one thing, one particular example I give you is that by done by economist, which I, I, I respect, is Chinese economist uh, uh, Tom Rosky at uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, they actually, they actually, uh, 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 he he basically is a comments which was cited by the media against say China lies that uh, during that was when I first uh, 17 years ago when I came here to Hong Kong, uh, people say Chinese GDP were lying. Okay, so uh, you know it's all this a uh, fake. Because you look at the you know the the electricity volume they used and uh, and uh, suppose right so and uh, and the GDP output so if they say you know if you the energy use right uh, well it's it's sort of stable but you can imagine that uh, the, the 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 massive economic growth right then simple this is by very regression right we know if we learn the statistics Tom is an area specialist he's not a called I even not called a a, 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 no, he basically raised the questions with question marks, right? But you know, they, this based on this negative or this relation, by bad relationship was based on a lot of assumptions, right? So China's uh, efficient, energy efficient use, right? They may, you know, improve, okay? So, so he had put a, some kind of a concern, but there was just a taken away by, by media, say that, oh, China lying or all the statistics. Otherwise, you know, you might say, oh, China is still, uh, you know, Again, the people actually, so at that point, people quit, people quote, uh, you know, Tom Rosky's question, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the essay saying China's economic growth was negative. And I just ask anybody in China over not a 70 years, like 17 years, right? So China, is China experienced an economic contraction, you know, slow down? And uh, so obviously not, right? So, so again, is that the, you ask people say 2 million, I think of where you are, your dream, right? You might. So these are something I, I you know. That's why I understand why people want to put the anonymous. But really, as a social scientist, objective, right? So I would say that I would not, you know, this you know, will make leave judgment to you. So with the system, whether it's, whether I prefer to live in what kind of a system, right? But at least for the figures, right? You, the information digest, a lot of information, right? Uh, online, uh, we really need to be uh, careful. But I personally. I think there's no way for Chinese figures, right? The figures are correct, okay? If there were some, some hidings, right? Or hidings, that was something certainly was not intention. Certainly, well, there's one or two cases was, was uh, you know, there's media, right? So there were just the social media. You really cannot control. You can control, censor something. Um, there's one or few cases just uh, probably in response to this two million, so there's one or two cases that they said that they did not report it. Okay, so this was the cases that was counted before. The government actually came out to 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 clarify the information. This was was released and then then he was you know returned to the hospital. Okay, um, uh, uh, did not recover uh, uh, you know fully. Um, so this information, but I think the system again, the 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 system. Okay, uh, for the for the information flow. The hierarchical party party states this this non-free right authoritarian regime really had a problem. Okay, really had a problem. Okay, for the public to know. But then uh, once okay once it becomes a problem, right? 
it, it will deal with it more efficiently. Okay, so that's a pro and a cons of, uh, of uh, when, when, you, when, you, when a society uh, really encounter a crisis, okay? Yes, so I think uh, like if I can ask a question, talking a little bit about how you're explaining and thinking since we're calling you from Sao Paulo, right? Um, yes. We're the economic center of this of the of the country. We're kind of like everything flows through us, and it's a very we're kind of the center of the country. And what you're talking about is in the in the case that we see in Wuhan, it it happens in the periphery, right? So yes. it doesn't happen in a place that uh, okay. yes. Um, so. Part of the explanation is that it took time for the information to, to, to be communicated to the central authorities and for the central government to intervene. But why was the local government in the beginning so hesitant to act? What, what, was, what do you get from the people who explain on the, on the ground? Is, was, is, was, it, was it not clear in the beginning that it was so serious? Or was it more fear of um making the wrong decision and and because it's interesting to think SARS the other epidemics happened where in China in different places yeah, in Guangdong in Guangdong yes so yes, just for the leaders in these local communities this was really the first time that they were rehearsing this or did was this community affected by SARS and did it have yeah. no okay uh, well, the, let me. Uh, well, that's that's uh, you know. I think the one thing is that Wuhan is not really so. The things are getting worse, like uh, in because this is during Chinese New Year, right? Wuhan certainly is not the the, the center, the economic center, but it was one of the still is a hub. I mean, right? So people said that five million people actually because this really happened before the the Chinese New Year Eve, so. People said, you know, it is said that five million people actually left the Wuhan for Chinese New Year, but mostly from to neighboring, the you know five million living Wuhan is for, for within the province, right? So that's why why Hubei was locked down. Most of the people, these are lo really local, most of the migrants, right? We have ten migrant, ten percent of migrants in our sample. So most of the migrants were from neighboring. So Wuhan has not be become a national center to attract people to to to. So most of was you know neighboring. Province and and within the province migration right so there's rural so they spread so that's not a not a much and there are, did there are some okay there were some cases of Wuhan is a center those middle class people they actually uh, use a holiday vacation to travel so Hong Kong case the first case was reported from a, a you know the parents of a Hong Kong resident who was originally from Wuhan right so they were affected they. No, this is a, this is a, uh, I think, all, again, it's a Chinese New Year. Most people actually, you know, no work, stay, you know, stay at home. So it's easier to log, at least for, for about half, uh, two weeks or also, uh, two weeks, that's, that's a long holiday, right? So those things will help, help to, 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 to curb the spread, okay? Uh, but again, on the other hand, the local spread, the community spread, you have gatherings, right? But but at least uh, they don't go to work, right? So that's uh, most people actually uh, that's a vacation. Um, but uh, why Wuhan is a place they never had the, this kind of experience, okay? This kind of experience. SARS happened in neighboring Guangdong. It actually affected Hong Kong most severely. So Hong Kong this time they dealt well because they have a very very suffering memories. I actually came here during that period, okay, to to Hong Kong uh, during that period. So they had a, a you know a very very you know a horrible experience of uh, you know, Hong Kong hurt most because it's a highly dense right densely populated city right so the it, it happened in Wuhan and somebody actually during again during Chinese New Year of oh, now uh, in Guangzhou uh, um, the capital of Guangdong province came to Hong Kong to visit attend a a, a a a just a banquet so he affected everybody here then it just spread to be, become a community. Uh, infections, right? So the government, the uh, uh, the local government uh, of Wuhan, as I said, is this is a, this is a governance issue. It's a it's a political structure issue. Is that uh, there is a system professionally? They already had a system to report. Okay, then the question is that the current Chinese law they have because the information was not supposed 
to be announced by the city government, right? So they have to get a test. U.S. the problem is the same. Is that they have to send the the uh, the the sample, right, to some companies. I I think in Shenzhen to test to also write Beijing also write them to test. That takes a long time for them to to learn this, right? Obviously later, uh, you know, they at least a, a group of people know the situation. Uh, know this is how serious, right? This is a this is a uh, could uh, well perhaps can affect that infect you know uh, in, among people, uh, but the other way from now I can guess I was very frustrated at the very beginning. Now is that uh, you really need to wait, cause and again to announce whether this is an epidemic, this is a pandemic, right, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But initially they should do that, right? So that again is that I think it goes to they should isolated people even even without without announcing this is a sort of like epidemic to cause panic right and to stop the whole economy they should should but they don't have experience i believe okay they they don't have experience and uh, during chinese new year this is again us usually the, the big season to do business right how can you just suddenly never in history i believe in history in china right so you really if if nothing happened then well, you, you probably will cause a some kind of public outrages, right? Um, so you basically you know, balloon the fortune, uh, balloon the fortune uh, of uh, of the whole year for most of Chinese people, right? So that is something now I I can sort of okay. I was trying to as a social scientist, I'm trying to understand the logic behind okay behind that. Uh, uh, certainly, they don't have experience, particularly avoid this kind of uh, community infections, okay? And I think Hong Kong. We are doing better. Okay, we're doing much better because the situation. Uh, they also the wait and the, uh, wait and the see. So sometimes that you know they actually, you know, use a different kind of pretend, different level of measures, right? But now is that they actually you know prevent the, you know all the foreigners right coming holding not holding Hong Kong Hong Kong uh, resident card coming to Hong Kong right. So so before uh, well they they still want to say how, whether they, we should close a border. This is a political, not only economic situation, but also political. Before that was economic, then become a political situation. Um, but now so far is that in Hong Kong, life is quite normal. If you go out, so no one prevents you to go out. And you go you, to the, uh, the, the, the shopping malls, everything is normal, but you probably don't want to go, right? So there are 10,000 10, bus you know, the, the truck, uh, truck drivers, shipping goods from China every day. So how can you quarantine them, right? So otherwise you don't have a supply. Um, so, so the situation, uh, but they, they learn how to deal with this, okay? Um, so, so Luis is asking a related question to me is, if you think that um, the pandemic will lead to more centralization in China, because since the, it's, a, it's related to my question a little bit, is that since it was so hard for the local government to respond and the central government had to come in. And also, I guess, talking a little bit about the irony in the case of where we live, that in our case, we have exactly the problem that we don't have a centralized uh, response to the, to the pandemic in this moment. So um, what do you think about that? Do you think that China- so How serious? So I was trying to check some, find some information. From Brazil, from do you are you are you, this is a serious concern there or people yes. are still? Oh. Yes, we can we can. Yeah, send you, you better. Okay, prepare. We can send you the research, but the problem we have is that it's the response is being driven by local authorities, and the federal government is not clear in terms of how to respond. And and today the minister of health uh, was fired. So we have a new min minister of health coming in, but the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of lack of clarity and leadership, and it's made it very difficult for this, the federal government because it's not leading the strategy. The, set, the federal government is uh, in a very kind of confused role in how to respond uh, because within the, the, the government, there's infighting between ministries about what, how to respond correctly. And so, especially the president feels very strongly and uh, it's created a lot of difficulties because the epicenter, of course, is in uh, Sao Paulo 
And so one of the governors also has like a political opposition role with, with the president. So there's lots of complicating factors, but the fact is, is that the governors are trying to coordinate within the states a strategy because there's not a federal driven strategy in many areas. And so um, even in Brazil, it comes very apparently uh, clear that we need centralization is very important during a pandemic. You need central coordination for all the reasons that we're talking about. The transmission goes through the economic uh, lifeline of, this, of the country. So uh, transmission, all of the, the impact, you're not able to self-isolate in the case of, of without central coordination, you can't self-isolate and reduce the spread. So we're seeing the impact of that locally in different municipalities and at the country level across states. So here, there's a lot of discussions about the need to have a stronger central response. And so we're curious about what do you think about China? Do you think that well, the solution is, is that this really is, pandemics are about central governments, not about local governments? I, I think the, the special issue I, I have, right? So that's uh, the last one called the nation state. I mean, uh, well, I can understand, you know, if I, you look at uh, the exchange between uh, <coughs> New York uh, state governor and Donald Trump, right? You yeah. can say, well, that's something very funny, uh, but, but I mean, that's, that's normal. We can understand, but during this high crisis, I would not say, well, it, democracy certainly is good, you know, during the, the, uh, the, the, the peaceful time. But in terms of the crisis, right, you need a centralized uh, coordination, right? And the, the only thing you can, because I don't know whether you can, you can lock down or you can prevent people leaving Sao Paulo or block people from entering Sao Paulo. This certainly, it's not a something, well, for, for the nation state, right, you really need to do, you have immigration controls, right? So what in, in Chinese case is that they can completely, almost completely lock down Wuhan and Hubei within China, right? Within China. But I think for other countries, uh, other systems, and other systems, just not possible, not possible. So you, how can you, you know, say, well, that's you, you basically, you, Unless you you job jobatize people's you know personal freedoms, right? Uh, how can you imagine you know you for be, you, know, you basically prevent people from leaving their home? You're arrested, right? How you're under house arrest? Arrest. So so I think uh, I think uh, well even you might you know local government can have some kind of as I said a public you know some kind of suggestions regulations, but you really cannot enforce it as a, strictly as a law. The only thing you can prevent right would be certainly is a is a central organizing to isolate the, you know, so present, preventing people from entering, this is one, right? Then the second is a coordination among different regions, okay? Social distance, that distance, this is the way, the way for individual perspective, we can do that, right? But I think for, for, for regional people's flow, um, uh, you know, the mobility uh, and, uh, and the regulation, you do need a, 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 a coordination among different regions, like, Sao Paulo with your, your neighboring city or regions, right? So this, as, as I said, the Hubei province, the officials of Hubei province have fight against with, uh, with the officials from, from Jiangxi. They don't want the Hubei people coming to Jiangxi, right? There's only one bridge. Okay, one bridge, right? It's very, you know, sometimes close border, but this is now, this is none of ours, right? So I don't want to, for government officials, they would say, this is not about business. Don't just, you know, keep bringing trouble to me, right? So you, you see, even in China, right? Within the country, you will see that you need, do need some, even under this top-down, highly coordinated system, right? Uh, obviously, I'm sure they will solve the problem, right? From, from, from top. And the Chinese or Hubei experience was that, uh, you know, this was led by a, Deputy Premier, so usually that's a Chinese way to do that. You will have an ad hoc working group. You probably need to give them certain clarify the responsibility with a working group with certain people. You know, this coordination is an emergency, right? Crisis. You have a health minister, public security, you know, uh, sector, you know, national security, whatever, you know, economic or other education, for example, for school reopening. 
all these you know key sectors right they're coming together to form a a ad hoc right? but this was an emergency group right so they can sit working as a group to coordinate i think this this is always a chinese way to do that and that was a a delegates like working group team right going sent from beijing to wuhan so the vice premier there was a 70 year old lady right he who was a vice premier who was in charge of health affairs right who was who who were there right? since uh, since the lockdown, okay, so who were there, and certainly because he was really national, right? So over there, if you want to coordinate, he put, he would he would have authority to to coordinate all these, uh, say you know, uh, the court, you know, like uh, like uh, assistant from different uh, different uh, departments, different uh, uh, different provinces, right? He has a high level of authority, but he was staying in Wuhan, so in the cap epidemic center. Uh, so I believe, now I don't know how the system will work, right? But, you know, Brazil is a society was quite different, okay? I know you have a lot of freedom, right? Uh, uh, which is sometimes good, but, uh, uh, but in here is that, uh, you no, know, the other way is that uh, I would say it's from individual perspective is, uh, you know, you follow the, uh, the, the guidance, right? And with the hope is, uh, you know, this epidemic, uh, well, you have it that in code right? you see us right you might say new york probably pretty much done okay but you know you just pray you will not be part of that those figures right in those figures then but the problem now is in us is that because the lack of coordination then you see other other states right other you know the uh, the metropolitan areas have become another so i saw one uh, uh, research report published published by nyu said well new york is not it's just a it just vanguard the first one, so they will be next, right? So New York just happened because it's connected to Europe, connected to, and Sao Paulo is the same, right? So the situation is that perhaps under you know, Sao Paulo is trying to okay curb the spread, but again, is that what you want to try to avoid other cities, right? Um, other cities um, uh, like will be next Sao Paulo, okay? So uh, because this were you know perhaps. Uh, was imported the case from from outside of Brazil, right? And uh, you don't want them to spread to the rest of the country, okay? Um, so that's perhaps you need uh, you need a sort of more central uh, coordinations level coordinations. Okay. And I think okay. local government people and uh, and uh, this uh, state government they do have the incentive to participate, right? To have better coordinations. But again, you know, if politics you know, become a factor in calculation. That becomes, uh, I believe they, you know, exchange the argument between, uh, you know, Democrats and the Republic, uh, Donald Trump and the and his New York state governor, right? Then mostly this is about politics. So you throw what they get, you know, back and forth, right? So if politics become a part of this, this become you need more, more wisdom, right? Political wisdom to solve this. But I do believe, um, believe you uh, it should have for, for local government interest, they, they they do they 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 don't have incentive right to coming together to work, and they should realize this is not a, the you know a pandemic right. This is a, as I said, you can isolate in the one the, the national border right, but within one country, it will be very difficult without without the you know central um, uh, on a state level or, or central government level the coordinations. Yes. <clears throat> well, professor, it's been an amazing conversation. We have learned so much from you tonight, and we're so, um, so, we hope this is the beginning of a longer ongoing conversation, and that I know we're doing research here in Brazil. We're starting to, to do a lot of research, so mm -hmm. I'm sure that we're going to have a lot of, of uh, reasons to collaborate and to learn more from each other uh, as we struggle through the pandemic, and we, we, we're, we're really honored that you were so uh, candid and so forthcoming and also so, so willing to accommodate to, with the time difference and everything to be able to participate in the seminar session. So uh, thank you, thank you very much. Right. And hopefully we, get to, we hope to speak with you soon. Okay, uh, so my great pleasure, okay, to speak. I, I think this actually bring us uh, to, you know closer right because of the you no know, before we never we don't use a webinar we don't use yes. zooms right but now it's easier so i haven't seen much people many people uh since uh, you know in the past three months right but uh, i don't feel like i'm isolated okay 
So that's a good thanks to the technology. But it's uh, you know, again, it's uh, you know, thank you, uh, Ian, for inviting me, and it's great pleasure. Okay, so Lorena, okay, to speak. So you guys speak English or or just uh, for this seminar? You, you, no, the you, rest you, of you the seminar. English at teaching. We, the rest of the seminars we do in Portuguese. If we we had a couple in English, but we 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 work in multiple languages. <laughs> okay, great, great. Okay, so so my but great not, pleasure, and this not, is indeed my first. My first talk, okay, so public or seminar, okay, since uh, since uh, the lockdown Wuhan, so since the Chinese New Year, uh, yes, more than three months, okay, three months. So I'm gonna have a second one, okay, on this. I teach, but uh, you know, but teach a class, but I never, and I, I will hold uh, some risk group meeting, but I, I never had this, uh, I never, be, uh, yeah, give a, a seminar. Like yes, this. I think we have to think of the positive, right? And one of the things yes, that's yes, really, important really. is that we've seen that the pandemic is about scientists collaborating across countries. There's, we're learning so much about how to use technology for good. <laughs> really, yes. So it's yes. not possible for me to fly to Brazil to give a seminar talk, right? But now yes. it's easier. So I hope in the future we have more collaborations and uh, exchange. I don't believe we should go through before, you know, I, my first time I, I was in, in, in Brazil, I said, we don't need to go through US, right? So I was invited by US scholar to go to Brazil. Ah. We don't even don't have a, a direct flight, but now I think I, I, I you know, we, we, Ian, we did talk about, right? So it's uh, a lot of interesting things. You know, I work on China, right? A lot of interesting things uh, we probably, we need to share with each other as uh, one of, uh, you know, you know, the, not one, you know, actually major countries, right? Uh, China and uh, Brazil, uh, and there are a lot, a lot of difference, but also similarities, right? So social scientists, uh, I think uh, uh, for, for comparative study, a lot of interesting things could, uh, could uh, you know, we can work together. Okay? I, I'm, I'm, I actually look forward to learning more from you, okay, from your research in this particular project, but also uh, from other knowledge about Brazilian society. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we promise okay. to be in touch. Jan and, yes. and I will yes. both will we'll send you, we'll be in touch with you. And thank you very much. Yeah. And to the thank audience. Thank you very much. Okay. That, to the yeah. audience. Thank you very much, Professor. Stay, yes, we'll, stay well. We'll, okay, stay we'll healthy, safely. Okay. Yes. Thank you all. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. <laughs>